Hello and welcome to a screencast about finding all the zeros of a polynomial. So I have a third degree polynomial here, f of x equals 3x to the third minus 14x squared minus 7x plus 10. And the way I always like to start off these problems is you know, taking a look at our polynomial, making sure I have all my terms in there. So I've got a third degree here, a second degree here, a linear term here, and then my constant term here. Okay, so that's no problem at all, because if you're missing a term, sometimes I can throw things off. All right, next thing I want to do is go to my calculator. So let me bring my calculator into the screen here. Um, and in my y equals, I'm going to go ahead and put this polynomial. So 3x to the third minus 14x squared minus 7x, sorry my calculator's a little pokey here, and then plus 10. Okay, now if we're lucky, we will actually be able to, let me do a zoom in number 6 for my standard window. If we're lucky, we can actually see some of these zeros. And sure enough, I see it's crossing my x-axis here one, two, three times. Okay, so we need to figure out what those three zeros are. Let's take a look at the table and see if we get lucky and have any of them occur at integers. Okay, so I see one down here at 5, 0, because a 0 means that your y value is 0. So I know that one of my zeros is going to be at x equals 5. Okay, bring that calculator back up. If I, let's see, it looks like those numbers are going to be getting big, so let me scroll up and see, sure enough, at negative 1, here's another 0. So I have one there, but I need three of them because it's a third degree polynomial. Um, and it looks like that one's getting really big in the negative direction. Oh, and they're just going to get worse. Okay. So it looks like there must be something here between 0 and 1 because my sign changes from positive to negative. Okay, so this is where we're going to want to use synthetic division to then help us um, keep knocking back this polynomial. Okay, so I'm going to set up my synthetic division with my zeros. So 5 is one of my zeros. And my coefficients are 3, negative 14, negative 7, and positive 10. Okay, bring down your first number and then we're going to be adding. So bring down our 3. Now we're going to multiply. 3 by 5 is 15. We're going to add these. We get a positive 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. And that gives me a 0 for a remainder. Good, so that's kind of my gut check. I want to make sure that I don't have anything left over because if I did, then 5 was not an actual 0. Okay, so that means my polynomial just got knocked back to 3x squared plus x minus 2. Okay, so this is where you now have options. This is a quadratic. You can use a quadratic formula, you can try to factor it, um, but since we're practic practicing synthetic division, I'm going to do synthetic division again. So I'm going to use my other, my other zero here of negative 1, and I'm going to now just use this new polynomial here that I have for my quadratic. So my coefficients are going to be 3, 1, negative 2. And if you're really savvy, you could actually put these two pieces of synthetic division together, but since I have limited screen room, I'm just going to do them side by side. Okay, again, we're going to bring our 3 down. Now let's multiply. 3 by negative 1 is negative 3, and then we're going to add 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. Multiply negative 2 by negative 1, we get a positive 2, remainder of 0. Okay, so that means that my last factor here is 3x minus 2. But remember, we're trying to find our zeros. So if I set this equal to 0, I can go ahead and solve for x. So move our 2 over, 3x is 2, divide by 3, x is 2 thirds. Okay, so my zeros are, let me list them out over here nicely, 5, negative 1, and 2 thirds. Okay, thank you for watching.